So the family of Eric Palmer has retained S. Lee Merritt as their attorney to represent them, to speak to the media, and to give out information that the family would like people to know. Well, I want you to hear what Attorney Merritt states on his own about this particular case. And he's gonna say just a few things basically that I stated in the previous commentary, but go ahead, roll that clip. Well, we've never really disputed the fact that it's fairly common to remove vital organs and perform forming a thorough autopsy when you're trying to determine the cause of death. Uh, the issue was when the family hired their own pathologist, when we uh, brought in our own expert to perform our autopsy and we asked about the location of that, the initial response in writing that the coroner's office gave us was that they believed that the funeral home may have had and they didn't know where those organs were. I understand today that they've now located those organs, but that was problematic. That's not really the major problem in this case. The major problem in this case is what happened to Everett Palmer Jr in a holding cell in, in, in police custody. Um, I heard the, the earlier correspondent mention, it all comes down to that autopsy, but in, 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 in addition to the, the many things they've sort of thrown at the wall to explain his death, they did include a restraint. And so we wanna know what caused uh, Mr. Palmer to be restrained um, and how that restraint le led to his death in the throat, we believe will be very telling into whether or not an illegal chokehold was applied or what, really what happened. There's film that hasn't been made available to the family. Uh, there are reports that haven't been made available to the family. And there's just so much mystery surrounding this case. Is that why you say it smacks as a, uh, of a cover-up? Absolutely. Um, if, if we were being transparent, which we expect um, uh, state officials to be when there is an in-custody death. Well, we know that the facility where Mr. Palmer was being held was fully recorded. The cell that he was being held in was fully recorded. Um, and so we don't, we shouldn't have to guess at, at what happened in that cell. When they make allegations that, they, that, that there was uh, drug use uh, uh, of methamphetamines, we, we want to know how he got a hold of methamphetamines if he's in a cell. Uh, and he's in custody for two days. He, he wasn't he wasn't found with those methamphetamines. So uh, how did that take place? And when they, they say there's trauma to his brain, which is why they removed the brain, or that there's trauma to his throat, we want to know what took place exactly. Uh, and you know what? People are beginning to come forward. As the story begins to break, we've had witnesses come forward to say that there's more information there. Uh, and, and that they're really ready to start talking. We are encouraging anyone who knows anything that ha about what happened in York County Jail that, um, a year ago to begin to, to get that information to the family so that we can get to the bottom of what happened. So what do you, what, what does the family want and, and, and need to have happen next? Well, we expect for York County and for the district attorney, David Sunday in, in York County, uh, to do a thorough, complete investigation, which includes the autopsy, but it, it also includes uh, gathering the, any reports about uh, uh, physical contact that was required in that cell, uh, releasing the videos to the family and to their attorney so that we can see what happened, and a, and a thorough explanation of why those videos might be missing if they somehow mysteriously disappeared. Uh, but what we want what everybody would want in this situation, which is just justice for the family. Uh, and we want to know what's being talked about in private, what's being hidden. Uh, we want it to come out into the public. So as you heard, he said the organs isn't his issue so much, but his issue is how did Everett die? And that's really what it is. Organs, you know, of course, that's something that's a big thing that people discuss. And we've seen people get busted by the FBI over organ trafficking. But the issue is he went there to turn himself in for something he should have been paying tickets and fines for, and then he lose his life. As you saw in the pictures, this brother was a good, swole up, tall brother. So he pretty sure they had to do some sort of illegal chokehold, some restraint. They said they had restrained him down. Why? Why are you restraining him down? Because you know how a lot of them are when brothers like that show up, they get so intimidated, they gonna gang up on him and do him something. But this is like a Sandra Bland case. Same thing. He go there and now he's dying in mysterious circumstances. Where is the tapes? Usually in those jails, they have tapes. Have that surfaced yet? They don't want to give that. You want to pass the buck about the organ saying, well, this one got it, that one got it. Oh, now all of a sudden you found it. Come on now. I mean, this is something that we in our community got to keep paying attention to is stories like this. And you have to understand the moment you step foot in jail, whether it's the county jail, whether it's state prison, federal prison, 
The 13th Amendment makes you a slave. That's why they treat you any kind of way in there. See, if we as a people want slavery to end for real, well, we need to call for the 13th Amendment to abolish slavery completely because it has abolished slavery. Why is it that all of, and I was thinking about this constantly. We've had so many people fight and stand up for what's right in this country, in our community, but yet we haven't had a mass movement to get rid of the slavery clause in the 13th Amendment that allows all this to go on. That's when you have prison slavery, where guys be making five and 10 cents an hour to do things. And then you wonder why they treat you this way behind bars and why they violate your rights. And any old thing could happen to you behind those bars because they look at you as a slave. Slaves don't have rights. Slaves aren't protected. So this is why they do this. And they target a lot of brothers to put them in there. But when it comes to the situation with Everett, this should not have happened. And why a whole year later, we're talking about this now. Why? We should have known about this immediately. But how many more Everett Palmers has happened that we don't know about? How many more Sandra Blands has happened that we don't know about? The truth needs to come out of what happened because it's just like Attorney Mary stated, it, it, it seems like a cover up. They covered something up. They being too fishy with it. We have to, as I stated before, Always look at every story and try to learn from it. If you're going to turn yourself in, go to an attorney first, tell them what's going on. Say, I got to turn myself in. I need you to come with me. Or can you negotiate the way I'm going to turn myself in and do it that way. Don't go up there by yourself, turn yourself in, especially you coming from out of town. They think nobody knows you and they think they can get away with whatever they want to get away with with you. We always have to think as, especially as brothers, we have to think. Because the things they do behind those bars is ungodly, especially if you watch the show when they see us about the brothers from the Central Park Five case. And, and I'm going to get to a, a commentary about that as well. Just give me a few days. But we got to play this smart in how we deal with these folks in this system. Because this system was designed to do exactly what it's doing. And they always talk about reforming the system. You can't reform something that was designed this way. This system will literally, some of the criminal justice system, well, injustice system, will literally have to be destroyed and rebuilt. That's the only way you could fix that. This system of treating people like slaves, that's why they kept that in that constitution. They didn't get rid of slavery. And I don't know why people haven't spoke up a lot sooner. Why? But unfortunately, most people are not even really educated on the 13th Amendment. That's the horrible part. And they do that on purpose in your school. That's why I said in one video, I wasted years of my life in public school. I come out of there not knowing anything. I had learned everything I've learned was after I got out of public school. And I knew a, a little, little young brother. That's my wife's, you know, uh, friend's son. And he said the same thing. This little brother, he was like, I graduated school, but I feel like I ain't learned nothing because you're not learning anything. It's not designed to teach you anything. It's designed for you just to work for somebody, not to become an entrepreneur. And if you do something, they're going to put you as a slave. That's all the system is designed to do. But what happened to this brother is a cover up. What happened to this brother is something that's been going on. And anytime these stories come up, we need to highlight these stories. And well, also what I ask many of you, I can't get to every story. So you get involved. You start reporting stories as well because it could take just one person reporting a story and something could become viral where everybody, even the news got it all of a sudden, the mainstream at least. We all need to make sure to report. We got phones and make it so easy these days to report stories. I'm an encourager of people getting involved. I don't believe in a few people doing it because when a few people do it, then if they knock off those few people, then they knocked off the reporting, knocked off whatever. And we got thousands upon thousands of people reporting all these different stories that maybe I can't get to or others can't get to. It's a beautiful thing. So get involved with this news reporting. You got phones, you know, you got opinions, get involved because we need everybody out here to report stories that I possibly can't get to because I can't get to them all. I'm human, but we want to find out what's going to happen with this brother because it is a cover up and it's not only the first cover up, you know, with the Sandra Bland case, all the covering up and lying and all the things that was uncovered with this situation. They need to fight for those tapes. They need to see them. And also same thing with the methamphetamine. 
how did he get in this system? That's what we want to know. Well, leave me a comment, let me know something about this situation that we're going on with this brother. I mean, it's sad, but you know, this is how the system likes to treat brothers in this country. That's why we got to always play very, very smart. We have to be, as the Bible teach, wise as a serpent when dealing with this system.